Hey there, welcome to Telecasters and Drive Masters. I'm your host, Jeff. Today we're going to be taking a look at the Carmen Ghia by Dr. Z. The Carmen Ghia is a single channel amp. It is 18 watts with two 12AX7s, two EL84s, and a 5Y3 rectifier. It is the creme de la creme when it comes to amplification. In my mind, it is a great amp. Uh, it's a very simple amp. The only thing you have is a volume and a tone. Whenever you turn the tone to the, to the left, you get um, a little less bass and stuff like that. You turn it to the right and it gets darker. Um, so left is a little lighter, right is to the darker. And so we're going to be checking out this amp. Um, we're running it into a Hughes and Kettner TM112, which is a, um, <clears throat> has a vintage 30 loaded cabinet. Uh, and so we ought to get some pretty good tones. We're also going to be using the uh, Two Notes Audio Torpedo Captor X as an attenuator. And then all of that is going to go through our SM57 into our Scarlett um, 2i2 by Focusrite uh, into our mic. And that is where the sound is coming from. So let's go ahead and let's get some tones going. So right now I've got it dialed in for like a spanky sort of clean tone with this uh, 63 Custom Shop Postmodern Telecaster. So here's some chords for you. It's very clean, sounds very good. Uh, this is on the bridge pickup. If we go to the neck pickup, it's going to get just a... This has a, a, a twisted uh, tele pickup in it, so it's going to be very, you know... Strat-esque. You can really get um, some of those Strat tones out of this. And then our middle pickup is going to sound like so. spanky um, and then of course the the bridge pickup is full twang it is full twang and so there you go that's the, the sort of the clean tone that we've got going on right now our volume on this is set to about I don't know seven o'clock probably um, this amp is very loud and with our attenuator we can attenuate all the way up to uh, 38 right now the attenuator is off yeah but we can attenuate to negative 33 decibels so that's sort of the clean tone so if we go ahead and we crank up the volume here here's what it is it's about eight or nine so it gets a little bit fuller we'll go ahead and we'll attenuate so that we don't get any clipping So it doesn't really lose any volume. If we go ahead and we up the volume to about half, we're going to start and get into the edge of breakup. Just a little bit of breakup. And what's really great about this amp is it's very touch sensitive. So the heavier you play, the more it's really going to push those tubes and you're going to get some breakup. So at this volume with the amp, uh, with the guitar set to full and with the amp set to about half, you can still get some clean tones. just by playing quieter, and then if you really dig in, then you're gonna go ahead and get some of that nice overdrop, those nice overdriven tones. It's gonna sound like this, you know, if you wanted to noodle around. Which is not bad, it sounds very good. So let's go ahead and we're going to turn the volume up um, to about three quarters. Here we go. Here's the volume at three quarters. Um, it's really going to be into that nice saturated overdrive now. Mm -hmm. 
sounds pretty good in my mind. It sounds really good. That's on the bridge pickup. You know, at this point, you can really, uh, really start to get, you know, into that some, some nice, some nice. So it's still gonna clean up though. Got those nice touch dynamics. If you really dig in, you're really gonna get some good overdrive. So, you know, at that point, you could go ahead, you know, and get you some solos on or whatever it is that you wanna do. Um, flip it up to the neck. It does lower the volume, but you're gonna get some really, really nice blues tones. sounds really good if you put it on the bridge you know you're in full country twang mode at this point you might as well forget about it you've done chopped the heads off of everybody in the front row because this thing is really loud we are attenuating it right now to i think negative 20 db um, so it can get really loud but if we go ahead like i said you're going to get some nice nice country tones out of this some nice country uh twang you know if you want to play some keith urban you know, or so it's going to sound really good, and then. I'm using an EP booster down here. I'll click on this EP booster and you'll really be able to tell a, a nice difference. Here it is with the EP booster on. So it sounds really good. That's just pushing it up a little bit, really pushing those tubes. And of course, if you go full volume, um, you're gonna get even more saturation. It, not a whole lot though, I mean. Three quarters seems to be about the sweet spot to me. So let's talk about the tone control on this. So as I already said, when you go to the left, it's a little bit of a lighter sound. It, it, gets, uh, it, it puts on more highs, it becomes brighter. When you go to the right, it becomes darker. So if we go ahead and we, let's, we'll go ahead, uh, we'll turn the volume down just a tad, because I think you can really tell better on the clean. And so we will go ahead and while it is on the clean channel, or while it's not clean channel, but while it's clean, we'll go ahead. And so if we put the tone all the way to the left, it really takes out all of the low end. If we go to about a quarter, it puts it back in some. If you go to about, I don't know, 10 or 11 o'clock on the tone, then it's that really like sort of um, boxy, chimey stuff that you really want with a telecast. Right. I had it at half. That's where I prefer. I think it sounds really good at half. Anything above half. So if you go to like, I don't know, 2 o'clock here starting to add in more uh, more mids and bass. If you go three quarters. Right. If you go full, then you're gonna really say it's not usable. Or I don't think it is, but if, I'll have to leave it at about half. All right, so let's talk about it as a pedal platform with the Carmen Gear. So if you're using the Carmen Gear, um, you don't have a, any sort of uh, mid or anything like that. You can't do any EQ on it. You've got the one tone control. And so if you're going to be using this as a pedal platform to get your gain, you're going to want to make sure um, with this that you do not use pedals that have a mid push in the EQ. Something like a Tube Screamer. So I've got this on half. Here it is. Let's go ahead and let's kick on a Tube Screamer.
I mean, it doesn't sound bad, but it doesn't sound as good as it can. I think it adds just a little bit too many mids to it. Um, something like an archer icon, which is like a claw. Sounds really nice with this. Gives you that nice sort of sweet. Kind of just pushes it a little bit. Of course you can turn the gain up on it if you wanted to. You know. But you're not going to get a whole lot of gain out of the Archer. Especially a single course. Um, my personal favorite to use with this is, of course, the Paisley Drive. Why wouldn't it be? I mean, you know, Brad Paisley uses Dr. Z amp, so why wouldn't the uh, Paisley Drive be the number one for me? I think it just I think it just sounds phenomenal it's really got that I mean of course it's gonna sound like Brad Paisley but really that country vibe you know you know something like that I'm not the best at it but it sounds really good in my mind and of course um, if you haven't checked it out there's also the Earthquaker devices Westwood now this is gonna be more of a gainy, it's a, it's a transparent overdrive. I think it sounds phenomenal. Here it is. It's real. It's, it's really a nice sound in overdrive. Um, put it on the neck position. Great sounding overdrive. Um, you can really get some like some nice blues and southern rock out of it. Uh, so you can be like. You know, something like that. You can really get some really good tones out of it. Um, you know, of course, it's going to take reverb. And it, this doesn't have reverb built in, so you're going to want a nice reverb pedal. I've got a Flint and a Topanga that I use, not at the same time, but I do have one of those. And it takes fuzz pretty well. So here's the fuzz. <laughs> So it does take a fuzz pretty decently as well as other pedals. But like I said, you're going to want to keep in mind that you want to use a pedal um, that doesn't have a huge mid push. Something like a Tube Screamer. Alright guys, this has been my review of the Carmen Gia by Dr. Z here on Telecasters and Drive Masters. I thank all of y'all for watching. I hope this has helped you with your purchasing decision. And stay tuned for more great videos. We'll probably look at a Bass Breaker 30R. And we got a ton of pedals to look at, as well as a lot of other stuff here on the channel. So, listen, y'all have a great day. Thanks for watching, and keep playing.